welcome back to my channel and YouTube Diaries. Today's video is in continuation of my previous two videos on hobbies. And I'm going to be talking about philately. But there's one question. What is philately? The question still remains. What is a philatelist? A philatelist is nothing but a stamp collector, except a philatelist has inner true understanding of what a stamp is. It looks out for the variety of the stamp, the history of the stamp, and where the stamp comes from. A stamp collector, well, is just a person who has started to develop the interest of making and collecting those stamps, putting them in the stamp album. I guess I could say I'm a stamp collector because I only just recently found my interest of collecting stamps. But hopefully in the future, I can become a philatelist. This is a great hobby for kids. But you must be wondering, in this tech world, who needs stamps anymore when you can just WhatsApp your friends, you can FaceTime them, you can email them? What's the use of stamps? Well, over a period of time, stamp collecting has been very, very famous. And also, has this hobby has been adopted by many famous people. Like so what stamps should I collect? I can collect stamps from worldwide. In the world, 10,000 stamps are printed every year. So there are plenty to go around and collect. Or I can collect stamps related to a specific origin or a country which I love. Lots of collectors do this. Or I could just collect stamps based on some themes. You won't believe this, but actually stamps are based on Mickey Mouse, Disney, and the Olympic Games. You can also buy mint stamps. Mint stamps are stamps that are freshly printed and no one's ever used them before. But you stamps, well, I think you already get the idea, right? Someone's already used them, but now you're buying them for yourself to collect. Lots of collectors used mint stamps, but this may be a little bit tricky. There are no rules in stamp collecting. The choice is entirely up to you. But what stamps do I collect? I collect stamps from worldwide, but I arrange them in a specific theme. And I collect used stamps as well as mint stamps, but I buy those mint stamps from the postal office. Where to get stamps? The main source of getting your stamps are from your mailbox. Collect stamps from your mail, your packages, and other stuff that come into your mailbox. Or you could just ask your friends, family, or relatives to just give you their stamps. Another great idea, you can go to stamp dealers. Or you could just buy mint stamps from your local postal office. You can join a philately club and trade with your stamp members. Or you could just, well, go to a stamp show. Those are great too. What do I need to start this fascinating hobby? Well, first, of course, you need stamps. Then you need a stamp album. Then you need tongs, stamp tongs. But why do you need tongs? No matter how much you wash your hands, then there will always be a thin oily layer of substance that is still on your fingers. And you do not want to ruin your stamps by damaging them, do you? So it's important to use those tongs. You can also buy a magnifying glass. There are a lot of fake stamps in the market. Hmm, I'm looking. You can also get a stamp catalog. A stamp catalog is a great reference book providing you with information about the stamps that you buy, like how much it's worth, or maybe just like where it came from, or the whole history behind those stamps. You can borrow this from a friend, you can buy this, or you could just go to your local library and get a book about it. But how much will this hobby cost me? You can spend as little as you want or as much as you want. The choice is up to you. You know, the famous stamp called the Penny Black was sold at $10 million in 2014. 
And if you want to buy an inverted Jenny, then that would be 15,000 US dollars, please. That is a lot of money. Phew, just for stamps? Well, I guess that's the price of history. Now I'm gonna find out how much my stamps are worth. But how much time does stamp collecting take? Again, it's your call. You can spend as little time or as much of time. You know how I mentioned in my first video that it's a little bit of tension on parents when you find out your children's on your iPads or your gadgets and they have a lot of screen time? Well, hello stamp collecting, bye bye screen time. One of the pros of this a stamp collecting hobby is that if your kid wants to join the philately club, he can enjoy stamp collecting as well as make new friendships. And, oh, I can see some of you are sleeping already. I'm sorry if I bored you with my whole stamp collecting lecture thingy. But it's all over now. Now I'm going to show you my stamp collection! Ta-da! So I'm gonna open it. And ta-da! These are so such colorful stamps. I got stamps from India to Portugal and then to UAE. These are lots of colorful stamps as you can see over here. These are all stamps related to worldwide. And this is a themed page. It's all for butterflies. So that looks nice. Then over here we again have countries. And it's just so colorful. Over here we have Saddam Hussein. And uh, uh, yes, he already died. This is why um, you should start stamp collecting. It's a very interesting hobby. Again, we have stamps from Bhutan. And this is a commemorative stamp. And this is dedicated to Indira Gandhi uh, when she was assassinated. And the stamp was issued in 1985. Oops. Uh -huh. It's really nice, right? And this stamp, uh, this whole page is themed again and it's for ships. See, this one is really, really colorful. So is this one. Again, these are really colorful stamps. And this is my favorite page because it has the Olympics in it. And these Olympic stamps were issued in the 1976 Olympic Games. So all of this. And if you don't know, I am a huge fan of sports. These look nice, don't they? And this two, these two over here were mint stamps. So um, I got them. And, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So this is the page that I wanted to show you. Uh, this is all stamps in different shapes and sizes. And, and these are two mint stamps joined together. And these are commemorative stamps again. So uh, this, uh, this is, you know, um, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Indira Gandhi again. Now, this is the page, uh, all Indian freedom fighters, and except from this one. Some of these stamps look really colorful. And these are all the rulers of Qatar. Now, 
These look nice, don't they? The reason that I love stamp collecting is because all of this colors and it's a really intriguing hobby. Now these stamps are um, for the army. And again, we have countries over here, Kenya and Kuwait. And this specific page is related to animals. So it looks nice. Mm -hmm. That is the end of my stamp collection. your very own stamp collection. Please write in the comments of what you think about my stamp collection and don't forget to watch all my previous videos. Like, subscribe, comment and share with your friends. Till then, signing off and YouTube Diaries. Bye!